Oh, come on. If you've come to give him praise, clap your hands and magnify him. Amen. An apostolic woman, give him praise. May an apostolic man give him praise. Oh, I've come to shout hallelujah. I've come to shout hallelujah. I've come to shout hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. If you're physically able, stand to your feet all across this building. The presence of the Lord is here right now. I want you to shout hallelujah. Would you shout it? I want you to shout hallelujah. Would you shout it? Shout hallelujah again. Would you shout it? I've got a hallelujah no matter what I'm going through. I've got a hallelujah no matter what I'm facing. I have a hallelujah no matter what the devil's doing in my life. I have a hallelujah no matter I'm feeling sick or well. I've got a hallelujah every day in my life. I've got a hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here right now. The glory of the Lord is in this house. The touch of God is here in this house. Thank you, Elder Grayley, for ministering to us so wonderfully in the 10 o'clock hour. So very, very thankful for the hand of the Lord. Before we go into the word of the Lord this morning, I want to thank you. Pray for me today. I'm extremely, extremely tired. Virtue has left my body for ministering in Glen Ferris Friday and Saturday evening. I've got to go back this evening. The Lord is doing great and mighty things. We're glad to tell you that three has received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. God is doing great and mighty thanks. We're glad to tell you that healings and miracles and provisions have transpired and happened all across that building. Matter of fact, I stepped to the pulpit last night to deliver the word of God. And within five minutes, the glory of the Lord fell in that house. I've come to tell you God is doing a work. I said God is doing a work in the day and hour that we're living in. And I believe, I believe that that very same God is in this house right now. Would you raise your hands toward Pastor? Would you pray for strength right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, by the authority of your word and the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, God, I thank you for the strength of the Lord. Touch my body, my mind, my spirit, my voice in the name of God. For, Lord, I have a word to deliver to the people of God this morning. I have a quick word to deliver to the people, a, a sure word to deliver to your people, and I ask it now. Anoint me once again, almighty God, to bring forth the word that you so see fit to minister to your people this day. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I, I was awake this morning very, very early. The Lord kept speaking to me about this service. And throughout this week, the Lord has prompted me to deliver this word that I'm going to deliver to you today. I don't know who this is for. Uh, no doubt it's more than for just one individual, but for many in this house today. But I want you to receive the word of the Lord this morning. Aren't you thankful for the word of God? It's a quick work. It's a sure work. Amen, amen, amen. Brother Dallas, Sister Dallas, it's so good to see you. We're glad you're here this morning. Would you give them a warm welcome? God bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. I want to draw your attention today, won't be long, but I want to draw your attention today to Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6, a very familiar portion of scripture. Galatians chapter 6, and verse 9. Thank you, musicians and singers, for a wonderful job ushering us in the presence of the Lord. We're a blessed people. I thank God for the talent that we have in this church, the giftings that we have in this church. But most importantly, I'm thankful for the anointing of God that we have. It's one thing to be gifted, it's another thing to be anointed. It's one thing to be talented, it's another thing to be anointed. For I'm reminded of the word of God, the Bible says it's the anointing that breaks the yokes and bondages of sin. It's the anointing that sets the captives free. I want a fresh oil of anointing to rest upon us in the year 2017. I said, I want a fresh anointing to rest upon us in the year of 2017. If that's your desire, would you raise your hands all across this building? And I want us to pray that God would give us a fresh oil of anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for a fresh oil of anointing to rest upon the people of God right now. For Lord, you know, God, you know what you have in store for us. And God, I pray that you would equip us for the work that you desire to do in us and for us and through us and among us. I thank you right now in the name of the Lord. I thank you right now in the name of the Lord. Galatians chapter 6. I want to say, Elder Brian did a marvelous job last Sunday morning. We're blessed to have the men of God that we have in this church. Galatians chapter 6. Be reading verse 9. Galatians chapter 6. Be reading verse 9. If you're ready for the word of the Lord, shout amen. The word of God says, and let us, everyone shout let us. 
Turn to your neighbor and tell him that means you and me. And let us not be weary. In well doing, let us not be weary in well doing. I don't care how full of the Holy Ghost you are, I don't care how long you've been in the kingdom of God, there's going to be days where you're going to feel weary. But the Bible says, let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint. The help of the Lord for the next few moments, I want to preach to you on this thought, the truth behind everyday things, the truth behind everyday things. The presence of the Lord is here right now. There are angels in this building right now to deliver us and help us and to assist God with that which he wants to do. So would you raise your hands right now and thank him for what you feel and thank him for what he's already done in this house right now. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you... That's it. Raise your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Lord, we seek you. Lord, we reach for you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we, we honor you with praise and worship this hour, magnifying the glorious, righteous, holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Before you're seated, would you put your hands together if you help Pastor preach this morning. We magnify the name of the Lord. Magnify the name of the Lord. God bless you. You may be seated in the name that is above every name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I hope that we realize that in our walk with God, that often the things of God and just everyday things are not accomplished overnight or even in a day or a week, but rather over the course of time. Dreams, visions, and desires come to fulfillment. It is in the old arduous route of work that men come to success in their lives, both materially and spiritually. Along that road are many landmarks and many potholes and many wrecks, if you please. For you see, it is lesson after lesson and lesson after lesson that the student finds his mind being enlarged. Let me remind you this morning that it is nail after nail after nail that the builder builds the house. It is block after block after block that the mason completes the walls. With the farmer, it is crop after crop after crop. And with the artist, it is a stroke of the painting brush, one stroke, one right after another. For the author to complete the book that he desires, it is word after word after word. And for the traveler, it is step after step and mile after mile. Let me remind each of us this morning that a good beginning is great. The big splash is great. The spectacular plunge is great. But in the end, the battle is won by those with the persistence to continue. Almost anyone can start something, but not everyone has the faith to see it through. Mm, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Some people have a flair for making great beginnings. Some people seem to have an exhaustible reserve of ideas and they plunge into magnificent projects, but they have no persistence. They, they can't see things through to completion. The incentive to start something and the persistence to see it through are two distinct things. Calvin Coolidge once said, and I quote, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. 
talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with great talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. There is something to be said for those who do not give up easily on things and prevail in persistence. Let me stop here this morning and tell you that, that a postage stamp are getting very, very expensive. Matter of fact, they're getting more expensive all the time, but at least they have one attribute uh, that most of us could emulate. Uh, they stick to one thing until they get there. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I love about a postage stamp. It sticks to one thing until they get there. I'm tired of a church that is wishy-washy. Oh, I'm going to preach to you just a little bit. I'm tired of people of God that are wishy-washy and swayed by every wind of doctrine. I've come to tell you, if there's ever a day and an hour that we need the people of God that's going to stick to the church, it is today. If there's ever a day we need a people of God that's going to stick to the oneness of God and stick to the word of God and stick to the house of God, it is this day. Is there a man and is there a woman and is there a young person in the house of God that will stand in the day and hour that we're living in and say, but as for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. It doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. It doesn't matter what everybody else is saying. My mind is made up. I'm going to live for God. I'm going to set my affection on things above. If you believe that, clap your hands right now and give God praise. Someone else once said that triumph is just oomph added to try. Many of us try to live for God, but we need to have a little more oomph to be successful. Oh, I'm going to preach to you just a little bit. Many of us try to live right, but we need to have a little more oomph to be triumphant. Many of us try to do the right things in life, but we need to have a little more oomph to be profitable. Many of us try to accomplish great things in life, but we need to have a little more oomph to be productive. Uh, many of us have good intentions, but it's persistence uh, that causes us to lay hold of the great successes in life. Uh, too many start the race, and then they quit. Uh, too many start down the path of success, and then they quit. Uh, too many start living for God, and then they quit. Uh, too many start falling after their destiny, and then they quit. Uh, you listen to Pastor this morning when I tell you uh, it's not how you start that matters. Uh, it's how you finish. Uh, it's not how you start that matters. It's how you finish. I declare there are many, I was thinking about it this morning, there are many that came to the house of God that raised their hands, walked down that aisle, received from God, was full of the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name, lived for God, but now they're nowhere to be found. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. But I'm glad to tell you I believe that there are people of God in this house that has made up in their mind, I'm going to start well and I'm going to finish well. I'm going to start worshiping God and I'm going to finish worshiping God. I'm going to start walking in holiness and I'm going to finish in holiness. I declare to you today the race is not to the swift, but to those that endure until the end. Is there anybody that will say, it does not matter. I'm going to finish the race in the way that God would have me to finish it. Amen, amen. Brother Bryce, give me some monitors if you would, please. It is truth today that when I tell you that perseverance is very rare today because to persevere runs directly counter to our 21st century contemporary pop culture worldview. This being the instant gratification generation that only focuses on the pers present perseverance has become defined as nothing more than our having to wait for something or someone. Genuine perseverance is patient. While it focuses on the future, it keeps us on believing and working and seeking and striving and trusting even when success takes longer than expected. Real perseverance remains faithful. Listen to me. Real perseverance remains faithful even when there are ample opportunities to throw in the towel and move on. Let me stop right here and say this. In your walk with God and living for God, there's going to be days where you feel like you can't wait any longer. There's going to be days in your life where you're weary of fighting every battle and every devil from hell. There's going to be days where you're weary of just living for God. But that is not the time to throw in the towel. That is not the time to call it quits. You need to put the towel away. You need to put the white flag away and say, God, it does not matter how long it may take. I'm still going to stand in the day and hour that I'm living in. I am not going to quit. 
I declare to you today under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Uh, I believe that there are some saints of God in this place today that are coming against uh, the spirit of the 21st century and are declaring, uh, I'm going to live a life of persistence. Uh, in spite of persecution, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Uh, in spite of hardship, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Uh, in spite of adversity, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Uh, in spite of difficulty and distress, uh, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Uh, in spite of hard times, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Uh, in spite of setbacks and misfortunes, uh, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Uh, I know some of you have had hard days, but you need to make up in your mind, I'm going to keep on walking for God. There's some of you fought every devil knowing to man and knowing to hell, but you have made up in your mind, I'm going to keep on marching. I'm going to keep on marching. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I've come to tell a saint of God, now is not the time to quit, for your redemption draweth nigh. Now is not the time to walk away from the church. Your redemption draweth nigh. Now is not the time to pull out the white flag. Your redemption draweth nigh. If there's ever a day to live for God now is the day because I feel in my spirit uh, the coming of the Lord uh, is very near and God is coming back for a church uh, that is ready to meet him. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost right now, Brother Witt. I know you're tired. I know you're weary. I know you've been fighting a lot of battles. But it's time to lift up your head. It's time to rejoice and know that God is with you. And say, if he was with me yesterday, he's with me today. If God be for me, who can be against me? Greater is he that is in me. I shall not quit. I shall not give up. I shall not give in. I'm not going to stop because in due season, in due season, I shall reap if I faint not. I have some questions for us today. Is there anyone in the room that has been tempted to quit anything? How many diplomas have been earned because of persistence and determination, but how many has been lost because they quit? How many court battles won because of persistence and determination? How many addictions conquered because of persistence and determination? How many musical pieces written? How many cures for disease found? How many marriages built strong due to persistence and determination? What faithfulness did God kept because of persistence and determination? As a matter of fact, we find in the Bible that out of 400 leaders mentioned, only 80 finished well. Most do not have what it takes to cross the finish line. But I've come to tell you, I come to tell you right now in the Holy Ghost, I believe that there's something being birthed in the people of God that's given them a determination uh, that I'm going to finish well. I'm going to finish well. I'm going to cross the finish line. Uh, I'm going to do what God would have me to do. Uh, and I'm going to see the supernatural in ways uh, I've never seen before. Uh, I've come to tell somebody when you make up in your mind that I'm going to live for God no matter what happens, uh, there's going to be a touch of God that's going to come to you. Uh, when you make up in your mind, it doesn't matter what my mom or my daddy may do, uh, but I'm going to live for God. There's a touch of God that's going to come to you. Uh, it does not matter when you say in your heart and mind and spirit, it does not matter how bad my society and how bad my world and culture may get. It does not matter if everybody else forsakes God and walks away from God. I am going to be the remnant of the people of God because God is still going to have a church and God is still going to have a people and God is still, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I've come to tell somebody you need to, you need to make a determination in your heart and mind and spirit. No matter what comes my way, I'm going to remain faithful and God is going to bless Bless me in my due season. Well, if you believe that, clap your hands right now and give God praise all across this house. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I've come to tell you right now. I've come to tell you, get ready, get ready, get ready. God is about to bless. Get ready. God is about to pour out a new season on you right now. There, there was once a man who owned a mine in Nevada. He had worked the mine for many years only to eke out a mere existence for himself. One day, while at the trading post in town, he asked if anyone knew someone who wanted to buy an old silver mine. The owner assured him that there was always someone who was looking for property to buy. Less than a month passed when someone made this man an offer. For his mind, and the price that was settled upon was thirty thousand dollars. And in just two weeks, after buying the mine, the owner hit the largest silver vein on the planet, and the mine surpassed the price he paid multiple thousands of times over. 
And to this day has produced over millions of dollars of silver for the owner. The old miner went crazy over his loss of the wealth he had sought for all those years and was committed to an asylum for the insane. He gave up his son for the precious metal only days before the silver was uncovered. He quit just before the harvest. He quit just before the season came about in his life. I've come to tell somebody right now, you're about to step into a new season. You thought you were just coming to a Sunday morning meeting, but you're about to step, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost, into a new season. You thought it was just going to be another service and service as usual, but I've come to tell you, you're about to step into a new season in your life. You thought you would sing just a few songs and clap your hands just a little bit and listen to the word and declare, my, wasn't that enjoyable? Didn't we have a good time? But you didn't count on moving into a new level and a new dimension of God this morning. You need to tell your neighbor, get ready, you're about to step into a new season. I've come to tell a mom and dad, you're about to step into a new season. I've come to tell this church, we're about to step into a new season. You thought revival last year was great, honey. We're about to step into a new season. You thought miracles and provisions was great last year. Get ready. We're about to step into a new season. I've come to tell somebody, you keep worshiping. Be not weary in well-doing, for God is about to take you to a new season. Well, if you believe that, clap your hands right now and give God praise and magnify and glorify the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You must be patient. Be patient and say, God, I understand and know that you can do your work suddenly. Season. Let me, let me tell you right now, I feel in the Holy Ghost. I'm talking to some people today who have been through some things. Some of you, this past year, the last few months, uh, some of you had to learn how to praise God all by yourself. Hmm. I want you to raise your hands right now and pray in the Holy Ghost. Uh, the Lord just settled in this house right now. That's it, a new season's on you right now. Be not weary in well-doing. I know it's been hard. I know it's been arduous. I know there's been a struggle. There's been times you've had to praise God by yourself. But there's a new season on you right now. That's it. Keep praying to the Holy Ghost. Keep praying to the Holy Ghost. Some of you, God's about to do a work, so no one moving, no one leaving the building. Some of you, you had to praise God through a lot of tears. But I've come to tell you, be not weary in well-doing for a new season. That season that you want to see the miraculous uh, is on you right now. Some of you had to hold up your hands while you were praying for somebody else, hoping somebody was praying for you. But I just stopped by today to give you a prophetic word in this house that a season is over and you're stepping into a new season, a season of manifestation and a season of release. Your new season is upon you right now. Your new season is falling upon you right now. You're walking in a new season this very moment. There's power of the spoken word. I said there's power of the spoken word. My new season is here. Your new season is here. Our new season is here. A season of manifestation and a season of release. My God, the Holy Ghost is here right now. If you're ready to walk into that new season, I want you to stand to your feet all across this building right now in the name of Jesus. Really quickly, stand to your feet right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to raise your hands all across this building right now. There is a new dimension of God in this house. There is a new season of God in this house right now. The Lord has spoken to me that we're going to pray ourselves through into that new season right now. Intercession is going to come on us right now. Intercession is going to take us in that new season right now. It's on you, Sam. Pray in the Holy Ghost. It's on you, Alana. Pray in the Holy Ghost. It's on you, Brittany, right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. It's on you, Sister Amy. Pray in the Holy Ghost. It's on you, Sister Sherry. 
Jerry, it's on you right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. There's a new season. I've come to tell some folks, God has not forgotten about you. God's eye has been on you from the very beginning. And he's about to orchestrate some things in your life. As they get lost in the spirit right now, get lost in the spirit right now. I feel some things moving in the spirit right now. God is bringing some things to the people of God right now. God is bringing some help to the people of God right now. That's it, Sister Sherry. The Holy Ghost is on you. Elder Jared, walk down that aisle. Lay your hands on Sister Sherry Pitts and Barga. We're about to be using the gifts of the spirit right now. Sister Paula, intercession's on you right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Elder Grayley, walk down that aisle. Lay your hand on Sister Catfish. She needs a touch of God along that wall right there. I've come to tell some folks God is about to honor your faithfulness. God is about to honor your faithfulness right now. You've been faithful over a few things and God is about to bless you and reward you with many uh, in those hours when you didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, you remain faithful. God uh, is about to give you a new, new season. Uh, in those hours where you couldn't see what was up uh, or what was down uh, and you had no direction. My God, I've come to tell you, God is about to give you a new season right now. You're about to walk into it. Uh, walk into it in the spirit. Uh, walk into it in the spirit. My God, the Holy Ghost is in this house right now. That's it, Brother Dallas, and the Holy Ghost is on you right now. There's a new anointing. There's a new season coming to you right now. The Holy Ghost is in this house sweeping all across this building. I want you to reach over and take your neighbor by the hand and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Not only are there a few walking in the power and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost, but many of us are walking into our new season right now. Walk into it. Come on, the door is open. There's a new and fresh anointing. There's a new and fresh season coming on you right now. That's it, Brother John Allman. Raise your hand right now. Raise your hand, Brother Allman. Elder Grayley, Elder Allman, would you lay your hands on Brother Allman right now? Brother Allman, you've been weary. Brother Allman, you've been weary. You've been exhausted in body, mind, and spirit, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. But God's about to bring you a new season right now. God is about to bring you help right now. God is about to bring provisions and blessings. The only thing I know to do is just to pray myself through. The only thing I know to do is just to intercede myself through. The only thing I know to do is seek God through my weariness. Sister Sharon, lay your hands on Christy right now. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands on Christy right now. Christy, it's on you right now. In the name of the Lord, God, I receive from you right now. That's it in the spirit. Make your mind up. I'm not quitting, God. I'm not quitting, God. I'm close to my miracle. I'm not quitting, God. I'm close to my new season. I'm not quitting, God. I'm close to the miraculous in my life. I'm not quitting, God. I'm close to the provisions and the blessings and a new and fresh demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Brother Chester, lay your hands on Sister Kim and pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Sister Kim, God is going to take you to a place you've never been before right now. If you remain faithful and focused, God, is going to take you into a new season, a new season. There's been struggles. There's been trials. There's been tests. There's been weariness. There's been sleepless nights. But God is about to give you rest. The Word of God declares weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. There's a fresh morning in this house right now. Yanamoko sete, yanamaha sete, yanamahaya. 
That's it. Be led of the Holy Ghost. If you feel led to pray for somebody, pray for somebody right now. The hand of God's on you. Sister Copley, you've been weary. He, Brother Copley's been weary. And you prayed and sought God and said, God, I don't understand. But I've come to tell you, be not weary. In well-doing, for in due season, you shall reap. There's some of you, you pray, God, I don't understand. God, I'm faithful. And I want you to move. But God says, be patient. I'm about to bring you a new season in your life. Come on, in the spirit, see yourself walking to that new season. In your spirit, see yourself walking to that new day, that new hour. I know you're weary right now. I know you're tired of fighting the battle, but press further. Press further. Go a little further. There's persistence in this house. Through your persistence, God is going to bring you what you need. Through your persistence, God is going to bless you and provide for you. That's it, Sister Alberta. It's on you right now. It's on you right now. It's on you right now. It's on you, Brother Frank. It's on you, Brother Frank. It's on you, Brother Frank. It's on you, Sister Janice. God, I fight many battles, but I'm about to see a breakthrough. God, I fight many battles, but I'm about to see victory because my season is upon me right now. Father, I receive right now in the name of the Lord. I receive right now in the name of the Lord. I receive right now in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. That's it. The Lord is still ministering in this house. The Lord is still moving in this house. God, my mind is made up. My mind is made up. My mind is made up. Oh, my God. I want us to pray right now. I want you to find somebody and lay your hands on them right now and pray that determination will get a hold of us like never before. That determination will get a hold of us like never before. That desperation will get a hold of us and say, God, I'm not turning to the left. God, I'm not turning to the right. I'm not, I'm not walking away. But God, I, I, my eye is set on the prize. God, my mind is focused. My heart is fixed. And God, I'm running towards you. I'm running towards you, God. I'm running towards you, God. I know my season's upon me. I can feel it in my spirit. I can feel it in my heart, in my mind. And God, there's nothing going to take me from your presence. God, there's nothing going to take me from your anointing. There's nothing going to take me from your power. My heart is fixed. My, my eyes are fixed, God. My feet are firmly planted in the things of God, in the ways of God. That's it. As you intercede, God's bringing it to you right now. As you intercede, God's bringing it to you right now. That's it, Brother Jerry. The Holy Ghost is on you. That's it, Brother Jerry. Let the Lord touch your body. Let the Lord bring healing to your body right now in the name of the Lord. Let the Lord restore some things to you. In your weariness, God is here to help you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's it. The Lord is still ministering. Ah, the Lord is still ministering. Ah, we're going to receive what we need from God together. Our season is upon us. Our season is upon us. God is honoring your faithfulness. God is honoring your determination. He's blessing you with it right now. This is a new day. This is a new hour. This is a new moment. This is a new day. Yan 
no moco shoto de hesete ya la 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 baja ya yo no moco si ya 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 that's it, I need some apostolic Holy Ghost-filled individuals uh, that keep praying in the Holy Ghost. The Lord is moving some things in the Spirit. Uh, the Lord is shifting some things in the Spirit. The Lord is bringing some help in the Spirit uh, to the people of God. The Lord is bringing some help to the people of God right now. The Lord is bringing help to the people of God right now. The Lord is bringing help to the people of God. Right Forever, your goodness is forever. Your love, I shut up, Mokoshi, Tiana, my heart. 